It's still morning at NTV. I'm Andrew Chama Giromuntu Awansi. Now, on Monday, the National Social Security Fund will be holding its annual members meeting. Uh, the virtual meeting comes at a time when the country and the world at large is struggling to beat back the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, to speak to us about the fund's performance, we have Mr. Richard Biaruha, Biarugaba, the Managing Director of the National Social Security Fund on Zoom. Mr. Biarugaba, good morning, Mr. Biarugaba. Good morning, Andrew. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good to have you this early morning. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's uh, a bit unusual, but uh, that's where we are uh, today. Absolutely. Now, we started off with how COVID-19 has affected the global scale and back here in Uganda. How has COVID-19 affected uh, the fund of NSSF? Um, directly, you would say that uh, the challenge has been around the impact of the pandemic uh, to the uh, economy uh, rather than directly to the fund. Of course, we've had a bit of disruption mm. with our staff having to work from home, but um, we had sort of prepared for that. I believe that the biggest impact to us has been the impact it has had on the economy. So we noticed that um, uh, it has led to a reduction in economic activity. Mm. Uh, we noticed that the economy won't be growing as it should have. Uh, it has affected, therefore, employment. We see mm. the growth rates in industry have been down. The growth mm. rates in services have been down. The growth rates in uh, agriculture sector have been down. Tourism has literally been wiped out. Mm. Many of the members uh, who subscribe to the NSSF uh, are working in those sectors. Uh, and we've seen that... Um, uh, our collections uh, at the height of the pandemic uh, mm. almost dropped by 25 percent so uh, we have a target to collect about 120 billion shillings a month we've been collecting uh, sub 100 uh, billion which basically means that uh, uh, part of our investments have uh, have gone down mm. uh, to put it into context uh, our collections last year uh, including up to the end of uh, June uh, uh, this year, uh, which is our, the end of our financial year, mm -hmm. have uh, only grown by 5%. It's the first time it has grown in a single digit uh, mm. for the last uh, decade. So quite a huge impact on us uh, as a business. Uh, not only has it affected the, the collection side or the, the business side, it has mm. also affected the investment side. Uh, we see that... Um, Many of the stock exchanges uh, within the region in which we invest mm -hmm. have uh, literally dropped. Um, the Uganda Stock Exchange lost almost 10% uh, of its value. The Kenya Stock Exchange, about 8% of its value. Uh, the Rwanda Stock Exchange, about 10% of its value. It's only the Tanzanian Stock Exchange uh, which gained uh, a little, about 5%. Mm. So literally, you're seeing your revenues uh, go down uh, or the asset values uh, go down. Your revenues on uh, bonds have also gone down as governments have continued to quantitatively ease or increase the uh, the, the money in, in uh, money supply mm. so that banks can lend. Uh, so literally, uh, we've been in the thick of it uh, as um, the economy tries to grapple with the pandemic and the reduction in economic activity. Okay, um, uh, speaking of performance, uh, with regards to what you've highlighted right now, um, in addition to the contributions are raised, where do you see this going in, um, in the next subsequent financial year? Obviously, we've got to, uh, to plan for uh, this financial year. We're already in it. Um, mm -hmm. One of the biggest tools the fund has is what they call the strategic asset allocation. In other words, how many... Uh, assets you put in an asset class. So we invest in three asset classes. Mm. You've got your fixed income, uh, literally your bonds, uh, and um, the other instruments, <coughs> uh, fixed income instruments that are available. The other place we put our money is in, um, in real estate. Uh, and then finally, uh, we put money in uh, equities. Mm. So uh, currently, our allocation to equities is about 15%. Uh, our allocation to real estate is about 8%, mm. and our allocation to uh, fixed income is about 77%. Uh, the, the impact on um, equities uh, has been significant. However, we've seen that the markets have been recovering. Mm. 
-hmm. which is good news. Um, uh, and that's because we've seen the institutional investors uh, ordinarily who are scared of um, uh, the drop in earnings uh, as soon as the pandemic started have started coming back into the market. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe they are look, looking for um, for uh, good returns, uh, which are not available in their home countries. So we think that the equity space um, will improve. So we will begin to see whether there are opportunities there to increase our book in there. Mm. We've continued to work on our real estate projects uh, in spite of the pandemic, uh, which is which is really good news. Uh, we are in for a long haul. Uh, we believe that uh, people will require these properties uh, in the future, especially with the onset of oil and some of the other economic activities that will come. So we'll continue to invest in real estate. Mm. And of course, uh, we'll continue to put some money uh, in fixed income, but looking for opportunities where uh, the returns are slightly higher than what you ordinarily get in the market. So it's 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 trying to find uh, uh, good places and opportunities mm -hmm. where we can find a little bit of alpha in order to give a good return to our members. Okay, um, Mr. Biarugaba, when will the fund announce the interest rate for the year, and um, when will this be credited to the accounts of the members? Okay, so the law requires that the minister uh, in charge of the fund, uh, mm. currently it is the Minister of Finance, uh, Economic Planning, uh, and he is due to do that on uh, Monday the 28th. Uh, we have our annual members meeting, uh, mm. which we are going to um, have live uh, on your station and a couple of others and online for our members to participate. Uh, they will be able to question us and uh, and get all the answers uh, on our performance and and uh, and how we've been able to arrive at the uh, rate of interest that mm -hmm. the minister will then announce uh, on Monday. So uh, as soon as uh, that announcement is made, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that uh, by the end of the day uh, on Monday or sometime on Tuesday, uh, people's balances will be updated with the new interest rate. Uh, and then uh, hopefully um, we can uh, all be happy uh, mm -hmm. after that. Okay, uh, so given that I am a member and some of the members watching this Saturday morning, how do we participate in the annual uh, members meeting? All right, so we've uh, been sending out a link to all our members. Okay. Um, but, uh, they can go to our website and uh, register. Mm. Um, uh, they can also go to the USSD. Uh, it's, I believe, uh, 254 uh, hash and then uh, they should be able to participate. Uh, there will be prompts on how they can register. I think it is star 254, a hash, and then it will prompt them to begin uh, mm. entering. Okay, so uh, from the performance, what interest rate do you think members should expect come Monday? I'm still interested in that. <laughs> well, uh, if I were to tell you, I would uh, probably be fired um, <laughs> because I'm not advised to do that. I agree. Uh, but I think you, you need to, to be patient. Uh, mm. It's a couple of hours before uh, the minister announced it. Mm. Um, I, I mentioned to you yesterday in our press conference that mm. uh, we believe that uh, we want to do as we've been doing before. Uh, in fact, I said that our performance uh, m might match what we did um, maybe 10 years ago. So mm. just uh, look out for that. Uh, but um, let's hope and wait and see. Um, you never know, miracles might happen. Absolutely. As a winding up this yeah. conversation, Mr. Vyarugaba, what could be your last word to Ugandans, uh, those ones who are in SSF, NSSF, and those employees who have not registered their employees in there? Well, all I can say is that we will keep our promise to mm -hmm. make sure that uh, we pay our members at least 10 uh, year, 10 year average inflation rate plus two. Mm. Uh, the 10 year inflation rate is uh, currently about 6.2%. Uh, two percentage points is 8.2. So we will at least meet that because that was our promise to our members that we'll always pay two percentage points above 10 year inflation. And uh, that's really all I can say for now. Mm. We'll also continue to provide them with a great service uh, when they come to do business with us. Most of our services are now online. Um, we've been running our ad, no hassle. You don't need to come into the branches. Mm. You can get all the stuff that you want uh, on our app or onto, the, uh, uh, onto our website. So uh, I encourage our members to continue to be safe, 
to be resilient during this tough period, uh, to you know to become uh, more adapted to the new environment, and uh, we shall be fine. Thank you so much. It is humbling, Javian. Thank you so much for serving time to have us this Saturday morning, and thanks for sharing. Thank you so much, Andrew, for having me on the show. Well, there you have it. That is uh, Mr. Richard Biarugawa, the Managing Director of uh, National Social Security Fund. Uh, that is a conversation that will be streaming live on Monday as and when it happens. We'll be having that conversation as and when it comes. We'll take a break and we'll be back shortly.